Hello and welcome to another Magic the Gathering video. So this time around we're going to be looking at the Face the Hydra uh, deck. Now <clears throat> this was a challenge deck that uh, Wizards put together for the uh, Theros game day. And inside of this pack we have um, a 60, what's it, 60 challenge cards as they're called. And an instructional playmat to play against this challenge deck. Each player must have a Magic the Gathering deck. So <clears throat> this was um, these were given out to shops. It's like I say, as part of the Theros game day. Um, some shops ran it alongside uh, the the regular uh, tournament and game day. Other shops didn't really bother. Consequently. Um, you can buy these shops were permitted to sell these after the, the game day occurred so that's something you'll see a lot with uh, wizards now doing is a lot of these special packages they put together for game days and pre-releases once that's gone the shops can now sell these so i think with these looking at the prices you could end up paying anything between fifteen dollars to thirty dollars this one i picked up for for twenty five so let's open it up and see what's inside. <clears throat> Judging by the fact you're going up against this deck, it's probably one of these sort of self-playing horde type decks which dishes out creatures each turn. Um, but we'll see. I'm going to have a look at the inserts first to try and get some idea about how this might play. Let's just zoom out a little bit. So yeah, it looks like along the bottom here we have Sort of level of difficulty there and then up here we have the hydra's library and the hydra's graveyard how to play so it says use the regular magic rules with the following exceptions you start with up to two hero cards on the battlefield you don't need a hero to play and those hero cards i think were given out back to previous pre-release or a previous pre-release Choose the starting number of heads, take that many cards named Hydra Head from the challenge deck and place them on the battlefield. Shuffle the remaining cards to form the Hydra's library. You go first, don't draw a card on your first turn, then the Hydra takes its turn and so on. You can attack heads directly with your creatures, any number of creatures can attack a single head. Growing new heads, whenever a head leaves the battlefield, reveal the top two cards of the Hydra's library, but any heads onto the battlefield and any sorcery cards into the Hydra's graveyard. So on the Hydra's turn, at the start of the Hydra's turn, untap any tapped heads. Reveal the top card of your Hydra's library. The Hydra casts that card. When the spell resolves, if it's a head, put it onto the battlefield. If it's a sorcery, follow its instructions and then put it into the Hydra's graveyard. The Hydra deals one damage to you for each untapped card named Hydra head. It controls and two damage to you for each untapped elite head it controls special rules if the hydra would be dealt damage or lose life instead deal that much damage to that to a head of your choice ignore effects that would cause the hydra to draw or discard cards or any impossible actions if a head would move to any zone other than the graveyard instead put it into the hydra's graveyard and you make any choices for the hydra Growing new heads. Whenever a hydra, sorry, whenever a head leaves the battlefield, reveal the top two cards of the hydra's library. Put any heads onto the battlefield and any sorcery cards onto the hydra's graveyard. And then we have some hydra artwork on the back. <clears throat> so let's have a look at the cards themselves. Not surprisingly, we'll see uh, several 
hide your head cards in here. So the first one, hide your head, creature head, <laughs> zero three, hero's reward. When hide your head leaves the battlefield, each player gains two life. It looks like there are not surprisingly multiple hydra heads all the same. Ravenous Brute Head, 06, Elite Creature Head, Hero's Reward. When Ravenous Brute Head leaves the battlefield, each player gains two life and draws a card. And there's a number of those. <coughs> Savage Vigor Head, Elite Creature Head, 08. At the beginning of the Hydra's end step, reveal the top card of the Hydra's library, and the Hydra casts that card. Hero's reward when Savage Vigor Head leaves the battlefield. Each player gains four life and draws a card. Shrieking Titan Head, 0, 8. At the beginning of the Hydra's end step, each player discards a card. Hero's reward when Shrieking Titan Head leaves the battlefield. Each player gains four life and draws a card. Snapping Fangs Head. At the beginning of the Hydra's end step, Snapping Fangs Head deals one damage to each player. Hero's reward when something Fang Head leaves the battlefield, each player gains four life and draws a card. That was a zero eight. And we've got a number of sorceries here. Disorientating Glower. Players can't cast spells until the Hydra's next turn. And we've got a number of those. Distract the Hydra. Each player may sacrifice a creature. Each player who sacrificed a creature this way chooses a head and taps it. Each player who didn't sacrifice a creature loses three life. And multiple copies of that. Grown from the stump. Put exactly two cards named Hydra's head onto the battlefield from the Hydra's graveyard. If you can't reveal cards from the top of the Hydra's library until you reveal a head card, put that card onto the battlefield and the rest onto the Hydra's graveyard. And not surprisingly, multiple copies of that. Hydra's impenetrable hide. Each head gains indestructible until the end of the Hydra's next turn. Neck tangle. If there are five or more heads on the battlefield, tap two of them and then don't untap during the Hydra's next untap step. Otherwise reveal the top card of the Hydra's library and the Hydra cast that card. Noxious Hydra Breath. Choose one. Noxious Hydra Breath deals five damage to each player or destroy each tap non head creature. Strike the weak spot. <coughs> destroy target head. If that head was elite, the Hydra takes an extra turn after this one. Swallow the hero whole. Each player exiles a creature he or she controls. Until the Hydra's next turn, when a head leaves the battlefield, return the exiled cards to the battlefield under their owner's control. Quite a few of those. Torn between heads, tap up to two heads. They don't untap during the Hydra's next untap step. Torn between heads deals five damage to each player. Unified Lunge. Unified Lunge deals X damage to each player, where X is the number of heads on the battlefield. And that is it. So there you have the uh, Face the Hydra deck, which was um, part of the, the challenge, I suppose, um, for the, the Theros game day. Thanks for watching.